Hey there, Raven Clan and friends. This is a Dwarf Fortress tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to go over mining. So, as you can see, we're starting back at the Start Fortress. And if you haven't seen the rest of my tutorials, there's going to be a nice little link right here to the start of them. As we continue forward, we're going to do stairs. So, here's the tutorial on stairs. As you can see, this is a little stair icon. You go into your mining. Hit the, st the dig stairwell. And we're going to do a nice little four or two by two. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to continue scrolling down until we're about, eh, let's go two levels deep. If we scroll out, there's we can actually see nothing around us that we can have a little bit more building space. And what I like to do when I go down in levels is I like to make a nice little one. Just off, off in the distance so that I know that this is our first floor. Now you don't have to do this, but I, I like doing this and you know, in some spots and whatnot. Now I, I can visually see what floor I'm on instead of looking over here. But that's, that's just something that I like to do in Dwarf Fortress. You don't have to do it. Anyways, we're gonna go back up to the surface and we're gonna wait for our guys to dig. We're gonna unpause the first time. What also you can do when it comes to digging digging and mining is that you can set the priority to stuff. You can also do auto dig where you can dig out only ore and gems where you can, you can hit this and place it on a gem or ore. We don't have anything around site cause we're very, and we're in a very, very flat land, but let's say there's, you know, if we go in to over here and let's say this was all gems or whatnot, we can go ahead and hit it now and they will only do the ore in the area, which is very nice. Or you can just set it to all and you can set the priority to everything as well, as well as doing blueprints. Here's where you can do blueprints. So if let's say you want to plan something, but you don't actually want to dig it out, you can just go ahead and set the blueprint only mode and do your blueprints and then do it later if you want to. That's just all planning. If you wanted to plan, I just kind of go, I just kind of go forward with everything because I'm uh, chaotic. As you can see, now our dwarves are starting to mine downwards. Now in Dwarf Fortress Premium, there's an automatic down and uh, down and up and up and down staircase. So you don't actually have to worry about that anymore. Our dwarves are starting to dig down and get to their bottom layer, which is nice because it's sand. And that's actually really decent. So what you can do with sand is you can plant on it and you can actually put your chickens and your, your fowl in sandy or dirt places inside your, your, your fort and they will actually be able to survive because there's worms and whatnot in them. So that's, that's exactly how you dig down that way. Now we're going to go over channeling. So let's say you get down to this and you're like, oh, I want to do something interesting. Let's go ahead and channel. Let's channel a four by one down this way. And also another four by one down this way. So what that did, when you channel, it digs down here, which is actually into our aquifer, which we're going to have to go into another episode. <laughs> oh no. So... Channeling only makes it so that you dig a ramp down, much like these ramps over here. And if you go ahead and turn on this, it says that it's a ramp that's up, and that's a ramp that's down. You go down here, that's a ramp that's down, and that's a ramp that's up. So on and so forth. You can also dig a ramp up, like so. Let's say we want to have something that goes like up and down, you want to have a nice little figure eight colony you can do that so now you can see that this ramp points up we're gonna go ahead and turn off the ramp we're gonna go up one so now you can see that you you can now have a nice little section out place kind of away from everything and just kind of play around with that if, if you want i like to do that for just aesthetic reasons really and that's just for designation that's not that's not for construction or building actual ramps or anything. You can build ramps in the construction screen right there in that tab. 
as well as as well as stairs. So if you're if you're on a flat plane and there's something above, if you're if you're in a cavern and you need to go above you, you can go ahead and build stairs. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more like this, do consider liking, subscribing, and let me know what you dislike or liked about this tutorial down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.